Hi guys, Micro here. Welcome to my road to becoming a Slayer Master. This is the first ever episode and this is where the journey begins. In this series I'm just going to keep doing loads of different Slayer tasks and progressing through the ranks trying to get to 120 Slayer in preparation for all of the changes that are coming next year. With Slayer being really popular right now I thought I'd join in on the bandwagon and make a series for you guys. This is just the intro and the start so this video won't be too long but then the future videos will have more tasks and more gains to be had so let's get into it. Before we go into all the Slayer gains and the road to Slayer Master, at the moment as it stands I've upgraded my Slayer Helm fully and I have 800 points ready for when I have more of my block list and prefer list unlocked with some quests and some more quest points. But as it stands right now I've banned Dagonoffs because I don't really fancy killing Dagonoff Kings right now but in the future I'll take them off and I'll go for the pet with the Dagonoff Kings. I've put Lava Strike Worms on my block list because I just don't like going into the Wildy, they just annoy me. I put Czar on my block list at the moment because they're quite bad XP and I don't want to spend loads of time going into fight caves or something like that. On my prefer list I have Dark Beasts. Dark Beasts are probably my favourite task because they're so chill and you just AoE them all down and they're great XP. Eretz are also amazing because obviously great drops, great XP, easy to do, love that task. And I have Greater Demons on my prefer list right now. Greater Demons are really good because I want to go for the Krill pet. So I'm just going to do Krill with Greater Demons every time I get it and do a Road to Krill pet while doing this series I guess. Once I got the Krill pet I'll probably take Greater Demons off my prefer list and put Dagonoffs on. I'm also looking to get Abyssal Demons on my prefer list because with Aggression Potions those are just absolutely insane. So that's how it stands right now. Over the coming weeks and months going for 120 Slayer I'll be able to get more on my block list, more on my prefer list, switch them up a bit and see how it goes. Obviously this is just personal preference so your prefer list and your block list might be different to mine but this is just how I'm going and I'm enjoying it so far. I definitely need to get some more quest points to unlock more slots though. I also just want to quickly talk about helms. As you can see in my inventory I've got loads of different helms. These helms and masks help me assign a task every day of each of these things. Because I love Dark Beast and Eret so much I use these masks to automatically assign me these tasks. Also the Mask of Granite, Mask of Automatons, Gainodermic, Dagonoff, all of these different masks are really really good. So if you ever win these masks from Treasure Hunter, make sure you're using them to force yourself to get these tasks if they're a good mask. I'm looking to get the Abyssal Demon mask and that would be amazing. But for now these are probably my best ones and I've been using these Aero and Dark Beast ones quite a lot. I will probably start using the Granite and Gainodermic ones quite a lot too. The Automatons one is pretty awesome as well. Definitely going to start using the Dagonoff one when I'm going for the pet. In this video I started out at level 100 with 15.67 million XP experience. So my first task was Dark Beast, I forced to sign it with my mask. Another reason why these masks are so good, for the first 1000 kills it gives you bonus Slayer XP and a chance for double drops. So I got really lucky and I managed to get a double drop of a ferocious ring so it looked really cool having two light beams on top of each other with a ferocious ring. I thought that was a great way to start out. First task, double ferocious ring drop, pretty awesome. So my first task was my 262nd task in a row complete and then this task gave me some golden rocks so I thought I'd trade them in and make the statue a bit more and it got me 101 slayer so that's a pretty cool way to get 101 slayer. My second task was Eretz and then the luck carried on. On my first task of Eretz I got a pair of Razorback Gauntlets which is an awesome drop. Next up I was given Aquanites so I thought hey I don't think they're that good but let's go give them a try. So I've done the full task of Aquanites, I got no good loot obviously and the XP was just terrible so I made sure I toggled them off so now Morphin won't ever assign me them again because I don't want to do that task again, it definitely is not worth doing. Then it was back to Dark Beast and I don't know whether it's just me but seeing stuff like Dark Bow drops just, they just make me smile because back in the day Dark Bows were just so rare and now they just drop all the time and they're only 70k, still I just love getting them dropped. I got Eretz again after that, there was no good drops here but I think this Tusker Fragment allows me to make my first ever Helm combine so that's pretty cool I guess. I think I'm just going to save them all up and trade loads in at once though. 
Eris is such good XP though, you just get so much combat XP and Slayer XP. These tasks are just the best. My next task was Elves. I found a really cool spot just underneath where Morvran is on that little bridge where you can easily AoE between three and four different Elves at the same time with your Scythe. This led to some really, really fast kills and some decent XP, but these are just such good money. They drop the Crystal Tool Seeds, Crystal Weapon Seed, Crystal Armor Seeds, all of that good stuff. They also drop Clue Scrolls quite often, Elite ones. I managed to get an elite clue from my task here. Next task was more Dark Beasts and I got really lucky in this task. In the same trip I managed to get two Triskelion key fragments and complete another key which is just awesome. The rest of the tasks are pretty samey so I won't keep repeating the same thing although I did get 50 million experience in constitution and 119 attack. Both of these things are really awesome. I'm getting really close to 120 attack. Looking forward to that cape. And then when I went back to Morvran, he decided to be really nice and give me 249 Greater Demons. So this is the perfect time for me to go Krill and get some extra kills and try for the pet and see what loot I can get. It turns out I also had a Reaper task at Krill which also gave me some extra Slayer XP for completing, which was a really good coincidence. As for drops, I managed to get an Ancient Effigy really early on which was really nice. Then after the effigy I got a steam battle staff which obviously isn't worth much money but it's a drop either way, it's a funny drop but it's still a drop. Literally the next kill after I got that steam battle staff I got another ancient effigy which is just insane. I've got two effigies in no time at all literally within 20 minutes of each other. Next up I got a hood of subjugation, it's not much money it's about 700k but it's still a nice drop and it's still an extra bit of GP for the bank. After the hood I managed to get a piece of War Priest from a minion. I know War Priest isn't that good but I thought it was pretty cool that I got it from a minion. I don't know how rare that is. Then I managed to get a God Sword Shard 1. I know again that's not that much money but it's still a drop at the end of the day. While doing this I managed to get 102 Slayer. Very happy with that, got some good gains so far. I finished killing Krill and ran out of time in my instance with 4 kills left so I thought I'd quickly pop to Curadel's Slayer Dungeon and kill 4 Greater Demons just to end the task. So all in all we made some good gains, my current Slayer XP is now 17.55 mil and I'm level 102 so we gained 2 levels and nearly 2 mil XP. We did 4 Dark Beast tasks, 1 Krill task. 2 Elves tasks, 3 Errors, and 1 Aquanites task. I'm not going to do the Aquanites ever again. I've untoggled them so they won't be assigned to me. They just weren't good enough. They were really, really bad XP, really bad drops. Definitely going to stay away from those in the future. I'm going to try and unlock some more cool tasks for the next time. And there's no point in showing my loot tab right now because I haven't actually got a very big loot tab from these tasks. I'll show my price check in the next episode once I've got more tasks done and more valuable items all together. Thanks for watching guys. This video was a little bit different to the normal ones. It wasn't a guide or anything. I just want to mix it up a little bit. So we'll still mainly do guides but I'll do a couple of nice fun videos like this here and there as as well just to mix it up and keep things interesting hopefully you guys enjoyed this different video give it a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new feel free to join my friends chat my crew if you fancy to chat with everyone here we're getting more and more people in here by the day and it's always really nice to see everyone please comment down below if there's anything you would like to see in the future let me know with your suggestions i love adding to my book of suggestions Thanks again guys for all of the overwhelming support you guys have given me. We've gained so many subs over the last days, it's unreal. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.